So you just got close by and you're probably wondering how the, do I actually get this started? On this short video, I'm gonna show you specifically how we connect CloseBot to Go High Level. This is just a very quick tutorial on getting started and connecting them. All right, guys, so let's get this party started here. The first thing we're gonna to have to make sure you have your Go High Level account logged in, as well as your CloseBot account logged in, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start off in CloseBot. You're gonna go ahead, we're, this is the dashboard look. We're gonna click on Modify Bot. And then um, once we get here, we're gonna go and, um, we're gonna go ahead and click on the snapshot link. I'm gonna load the snapshot link first. We click on that. And then that should open up a go high level window. And you're gonna get, do you wanna import this snapshot to this account? We're gonna go ahead and click yes, import now. And that should take you to your account snapshots. As you can see here, this is version four. And the date here is March 12th, that's just right now. So. Now that we got the snapshot imported, the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add it to the account here. So the first thing, we're gonna go ahead and click on sub accounts. And then from here, you're gonna find a sub account you wanna use and we're gonna click on manage client here. There you go. This is what it looks like. And then we're gonna go here to the top right and you're gonna click on click act get actions and then load snapshot. We're gonna pick the snapshot that we just downloaded which is going to be at this version four and then we're going to go ahead and hit proceed and then you'll get you know the things that are going to be added in here i usually just skip the missed call text back one so i usually have that set up already and once that's done there we can just go ahead and hit proceed and it should start loading it tell you, hey, there's the conflicts or not, and then you can skip. These are whatever could be the conflicts. I had already loaded it on here before, so that's why you're seeing these things here, but normally you wouldn't see that. And um, so you're gonna go ahead and hit proceed, and it should start copying the data over. At this point, you're just gonna have to wait till it's done, but from there, we can go ahead and go back to the close bot. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to connect it to go high level right so we're going to go ahead and hit actually first we go back to our sub account here we're going to actually have to get into the sub account and then at this point you're going to have to go into the settings here bottom left and then we're going to go to the company business profile we're going to scroll down here and as you can see here api key we're going to go ahead and copy that and then we're going to go back to close bot over here and we're going to hit connect. Okay, normally it asks for an API key. I'm not sure why it's not asking for it anymore. These guys seem to kind of have changed it up. I was just testing it yesterday. But anyways, right, if we get to this point and you don't need the API key, you're going to go ahead and just click on the sub account you want to add the bot to. And in this particular case, it's going to be TechWiz Automations. So we go ahead and click it. Okay, so it brought me back to my original one. You have to go ahead and click the bot that we're working on. And in this case, it's going to be right here, the testing bot. Make sure we click on that, click your bot. And as you can see here, it'll say now we are now connected. So now we got our snapshot loaded. And then we also have this bot connected to that specific sub account. <laughs> All right, guys. So look, now that we've got everything loaded up, the next thing is we got to go turn it on inside of Go High Level. So we're going to have to go ahead, go back into our Go High Level account. And we're going to go back here onto the main tab and we're gonna click on automation. As you can see here, close bot has been installed. This is the workflow. This contains all of the workflows close bot uses. So we're gonna click on this one here. And as you can see here, they're all published except for this one here. And the reason that one is not published is because that's pretty much the on button. That pretty much sets that whenever you get a message, depending on the channels, we can click on the workflow so we can get an understanding of kind of what it looks like. I'll go into detail in some other videos. So the way that it works is pretty much all these different reply channels will trigger the bot to process a message and start working. And the way that we would do that is we would go ahead and hit publish workflow and this would turn it on. I would kind of do a lot of testing before on my bot and um, before I'd get into this point. So this is just the initial setup. I will be creating different videos later in the future that are specific towards how I actually test my bot before I run it live, because you want to kind of get a good understanding of like what the bot's going to do, how it's going to work and 
how it's going to respond before you run it live. And then later on, you can go ahead, go back in there and tweak. So um, stay tuned, guys. I will be releasing videos soon, and I look forward to helping you out further.